This is Rob Liefeld. Kai Review is going down. Hey guys, we got our first look here at Baron Zemo from Falcon and Winter Soldier, the Disney Plus streaming service show from Marvel Studios. Um, so this is pretty interesting. It comes directly from uh, Instagram from the actor himself, Daniel Bruhl, who will be playing him and reprising his role from uh, Captain America Civil War. So I think this is quite interesting. Now, uh, it was originally in that movie, I was kind of disappointed that he didn't have that costume, but he didn't really need that costume for that movie. Whereas now, now that his identity is out there and people know who he is and all that stuff, um, or at least the government agencies, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. would have an idea what he looks like, and, you know, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier would definitely know exactly who he is. Um, you know, I think that's good. We would definitely recognize him and stuff. So I think it's going to be quite interesting to see this. And I think this photo here looks really good. I love how it's kind of very blurry and stuff. And it looks very much like a, you know, a, a message on, on the screen. It reminds me slightly like the um, the image of uh, uh, from Man of Steel, actually, when Zod was on screen, you know, trying to take over the airwaves. So I think this could be something like that. Maybe he's trying to take over the, the t TV waves or whatever, trying to get this on multiple screens or on someone's specific screens and stuff, um, which is kind of interesting here. It looks like there might be some sort of, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a reflection off of a TV screen or something else here. I feel like there's something, another image here, uh, you know, that's kind of, as it's kind of TV's got it glitching out and this look here looks kind of cool how it's a uh, pretty much just a regular you know trench coat with some gloves and maybe just uh, and then just the, ha the mask over it and I think that's really cool going with this idea and I think it makes sense you know he needs to hide his identity and all that stuff I definitely can't wait to see as to how things go and I love the shade of purple here I mean it's hard to really tell because obviously there's a bunch of filters over it so it's hard to tell the exactly which kind of purple is here, but I'm getting the idea of sense that it's very, very bright purple, very, you know, purple from uh, from Jessica Jones, you know, the the, like the same shade they use for uh, for Justin Jones season season one when they did Purple Man and stuff. So I think this is really going to be quite interesting to see that and the huge big eyes. Um, I think that's really cool doing, doing that. It makes sense. He would have to have his eyes kind of completely uh, open so he can see, you know, to keep his peripheral vision and all that stuff. So I definitely can't wait to see as to where things kind of go with this. And this gets me excited that they potentially should be start shooting at some point, and we'll get some set photos to kind of talk about from that. Hopefully, we get a you know set photo to show to show uh, off more of how he looks in costume. So let me know what you think, guys. Put this photo in the comments below. Are you excited for this series? I definitely can't wait to see as to how things kind of go, especially with the teases that they're going to be very connected to the movies and stuff. Um, you know, they announced that uh, WandaVision will lead, will connect to uh, to Doctor Strange and, and the, to the, the Multiverse of Madness, and then it will also star, uh, you know, Scarlet Witch will be in that show, then she'll also be in the movie, so I think that could be something interesting to play with, to see as to what this could set up and how this kind of shapes up the MCU. And I think this could be a really interesting show, you know, with the, the with the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ending, and they're finishing up their last episode currently, I think, as we speak. Uh, so I think by the time this starts actually shooting, they could bring some of those characters in there to bring just for background actors. You know, if you have any background S.H.I.E.L.D. characters, whether it's written to be, you know, Sky and all them or not, no, who, who cares? Put them in the background and bring Coulson back into the background. I think it could be quite cool setting something like that up. Um, but at least maybe having Nick Fury in there, I think it could be quite cool seeing as to how things kind of kick off the show and how things kind of go from here. So let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below. Are you excited for this look of Zemo? What do you want to see him do in this show? And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. We're here for Kyle Reviewed on YouTube. The very best Kyle Reviewed channel on all the YouTube Kyle Reviewed channels. You got that? You got that right? Thank you for watching Kyle Reviewed. Deadpool and I thought it was fantastic. You need to like, you need to subscribe. You know how it's done? Like, subscribe. Right DP? All right. Kyle Reviewed. Cool channel.